Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And today I'm roasting spaghetti squash for the freezer. Now, spaghetti squash are supposed to be yellow, but for some reason these were breaking off the vine. So we're gonna hope that they are ripe enough to use. So, so I'm going to start by cutting these in half. Cut the, break the stem off. I have more on the vine and now I'm just going to take a spoon here and scoop out the seeds. Don't save these seeds folks. I, or no, let's not say that. I won't be saving these seeds because uh, they were planted too close, close to the zucchini and you saw what happened to some of these squash. So I'm gonna err on the side that these seeds will probably be um, hybrids. So, all right, soon as my tomatoes are done, this tray is going into a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes or until these are soft and, and collapsible when you stick your thumb in them. This is going into the compost. Ugh. And out comes our tomatoes. And in goes our spaghetti squash. Okay, here is our spaghetti squash out of the oven. And I'm just gonna flip them on over. Ow! Wow, they're hot! I actually turned this down to, uh, to slow roast them at 300 degrees so that they didn't, ouch, burnt, burn. Gotta be quick flipping these, ow, flipping these over. So I think I'm going to let these cool down somewhat, let some of the moisture come out, and then I will do my shredding. Okay, so I'm not going to dehydrate these. I'm just going to put them on the dehydrator trays to drain, simply because my dehydrator right now is in full use with tomato paste or making tomato powder. So I'm just going to spread this out onto the tray. I think I may have cooked them a little too much. Ah, these are not stringing well. They're underripe. But I am not going to waste them. We're going to let the ones that are out on the vine grow better. Like grow to ripeness and I won't touch them so they don't break off. And these I will dehydrate. Okay, so here is our underripe and overcooked spaghetti squash off the dehydrator. And I'm going to grind this for vegetable powder, folks, because I'm not going to waste it. This will be something, you know, that we could use for if you don't want to put bread or oats in your meatloaf, you can put vegetable powder. And this is being a mild flavor, um, is not going to overpower the meatloaf. It's not going to overpower, say, the meatloaf or the soup as, say, tomato powder might, right? So we're just going to well. 
looks like I'm only going to have a half pint jar, but we'll see. We'll just keep doing it until it's all done. So, I don't have any half pint jars left and this is not enough for a full pint. But there, there's my spaghetti squash powder. Spaghetti squash. Even though it was underripe and cooked to mush, we can still use it. This will be great for thickening casseroles, sauces, and even meatloaf without giving it an overpowering taste. Just because it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to doesn't mean you can't use it. Don't let things go to waste. Just think of another way of dealing with them. Take care. God bless.